Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the words from the throne, daily rap. Uh, this is actually for 5-16, uh, April 6, May 16, 2011. Basically, I'm going to go over a few of the topics that I have written down. I hope y'all enjoy my reading. First off, I want to give big shout-outs to MMA Madhouse for their sponsorship. Uh, everybody that's joined the MMA Kingdom fan page, the group page, big ups to everybody, man. I appreciate that shit. We're going to keep moving. I'm going to give big ups to Michael Pepper. Um, some of his mentorship is, is just really good, man. I respect the man. I respect everybody over in MMA Bay. Now, they're helping me a lot with my journalism. And I thank you very much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about is myself in regards to my persona that you see here on uh, typically on YouTube or whatever. Um, the persona that you see is 100% me. That's the problem, is that uh, I need to calm down a little bit, and I'm going to. So, you know, there's going to be a little bit of different, a different King JB that y'all see on this. I'm tired of beefing with some of you cats. I'm tired of talking about some of you cats. Today, you'll hear me talk about the situation with DBIC, but that'll be about it, you know. All right, moving on, obviously. I also want to give a big shout-out to both John Howard and Anthony Johnson. Uh... I had a lot of words with them through this shit, and I'm going to get into that a little bit later. All right, to start things off, man, we're going to talk about the sponsorship and the end of King JB's affiliation with MMA Topics. Now, MMA Madhouse, as well as uh, Mobsters Fight Gear, I want to give big ups to y'all. Y'all doing some sponsorship with me, and I appreciate it. Uh, MMA Topics was a great thing in the middle, in the beginning. I loved it. It was... Uh, me, DBIC, Dukes running this shit. What had happened is, DBIC had went behind my back and took some of my administrative powers away. Um, basically, I think he was trying to push me out. I have no clue why. I, I have no, no ill will towards DBIC. I just don't understand why he would do that. Um, we were supposed to be running MMA topics together. And so basically, because he did that, I... I I brought it up to him. Uh, DBIC immediately went on the defensive and started talking shit. I said I was leaving in many topics. I didn't say the radio show was going to be canceled. None of that. I could have done radio. With DBIC. Then he posted something on Twitter and on Facebook saying that he was done with the MMA kingdom and the MMA affiliates. That's his choice. I have no ill will. I will say this. That many people told me not to work with DBIC. I should have fucking listened, but I didn't. Big ups though to everybody affiliated with the topics. Thank you for coming over to the kingdom where we we don't we don't allow trolls to sit around and uh just troll our shit, man. We get rid of them. DBIC loves them, so it is what it is, man. DBIC loves drama. He's the one when I tried to squash people with bloodstain lane, he wanted me to keep going. Ah uh, man, that's a bitch move that you man, fuck that. Be at Bloodstain Lane, my, my, my thing to you, man, is keep doing what you're doing, man. You're successful at it, and I appreciate it. And uh, no more beefs. I respect you as a man. You respect me as a man. Let's keep moving. DVIC, most people have no respect for you. You're little. You're ugly. You look like a little fucking fish out of water. There's something wrong with you, man, like a little gerbil. There's just something you need to, you, you seriously need to take care of yourself. But I know you're going to come back with fat jokes and talk about my titties mm. and all that. Fuck you. DBIC, you got a problem, man. Seriously. Nobody likes you. That's it. Uh, moving on. I said that I won't talk about topics, MMA topics, due to my affiliation with MMA Madhouse, and I won't. So topics is topics. DBIC, on the other hand, is DBIC. I wish this wouldn't have happened, but it did. I got new co-hosts. Uh, I'll announce them later in the week. But I do want to uh, say thank you, DBIC, for all the work you put in. You, you did great with your advertising. You know what I'm saying? You sucked on the radio, though. Everybody knew King JB ran this. Everybody knew that. Dukes, big ups to you. I have no problem with you. You're a great guy. You have excellent MMA knowledge. That's another thing. DBIC came out here and he said that I was a bitch. And I had no MMA knowledge, and I was a fake front and faggot. <laughs> Come on, man. 
If I didn't have no MMA knowledge, man, would so many people be trying to get with me and follow me? I, I got MMA knowledge, bro. You know, you're the one that doesn't know the undercard. You know why we never really went over the undercard in our video? Because of DiBiase. He doesn't know everybody. He doesn't research everybody. He has no clue about the fighters on the undercard. You ask him about Michael McDonald and Chris Carrioso, he'll say, what? I don't know. Bryson T-Bone and Bart Palazuski, he don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't. That's just the truth. Moving on. This is, no, we'll go ahead and move on. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying. All right. Matt Mitrione, Tito Ortiz at the summit. Mitrione wanted to go up and introduce himself to DB, uh, to DiBiase. Get the fuck out of here. Tito Ortiz. Tito Ortiz pretty mad about some comments that Mitrione made on the Mitrione Minute about Jenna Jameson. You know, Tito's got to understand. Uh, his wife is a porn whore. Everybody has seen her suck dick. Think about that, Tito. You're going to receive some, some motherfucking hate. You're, you're going to receive some shit about your wife. You married a whore, bro. You got to deal with that. Now, keeping it moving. It is what it is. Jim Jameson's a whore. Fuck it. Half the people watching his videos jacked off all over the keyboard watching Jim Jameson. So Tito, understand that. Mitrion, come on, man. What the fuck you doing? You just instigating. You know you said something about that man's wife. Why are you going to go talk to him? Now, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, in a fight, I got to root for Tito. But I think Matt would whoop that ass, to be honest. Size does matter in this sport. Uh, more often than not. Tito, just chill out. Matt, qu quit trolling, bro. This is Nap Town, man. I know where you at. Matt, Mitrion. Nap Town, bro. We don't, we don't play with people like that here in Indianapolis, bro. You know that. Quit trolling, bro. It's not what we do. Then we got Kenny Florian. Says he can still be the lightweight champion. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, how many more chances you need? Not, and you're not even in the lightweight division anymore. Why are you talking about the lightweight championship? You got a big motherfucker coming up. You got Diego Nunes, man. I think he's like 16-1. and one, And you're talking about the lightweight championship? You're not even going to win the featherweight championship. Let alone the lightweight championship. You're saying that because BJ Penn is up with the, with the welterweights. You can't beat none of the top lightweights either. I like you. I think you're great in your career. Keep doing your MMA live. But Florian, come on, man. You know, you'll never be lightweight champion. Not even in strike force. Get your shit together, man. Get your shit together. You're cool, but you ain't that guy now. Cool. Mark Coleman has said that he wants to fight Herschel Walker. I, I, I love this fight. I would love to see this fight. Coleman just got done saying he wanted to fight Dan Severn. Uh, Coleman was retired, apparently, but I guess not. So I got to give big props out to this. I, I do want to see Mark Coleman versus Herschel Walker. If Herschel Walker beats Mark Coleman, he's done. Period. Coleman's done. Herschel Walker, on the other hand, at 2-0, and if he can get that Mark Coleman fight and beat him, that's a huge thing to have on his on his resume after just three fights. Uh, I'd love to see this fight. That's all right. I'd just love to see this fight. Paul Heyman. Whoo! As a wrestling fan, I'd love to see him. He, uh, I've been watching him since WCW days. Probably dangerously on that shit. Credited for bringing, he's like Brock Lesnar's best friend and shit. I love Paul Heyman. Um, I think he's a great promoter. He's going to be used to help promote UFC 131 for, from what I understand. Uh, I love the entire concept. I love to see MMA and pro wrestling mix. I love the worlds colliding. I love the shit. Um, I have a very pro wrestling mind. I love it. So uh, all you motherfuckers out there that's going to hate on Paul Heyman, <clears throat> you think he's just a wrestling promoter? Fuck out of here. The dude's a fucking genius. Paul Heyman is good for this sport. He'll promote some shit. Trust me. Paul Heyman is like, as I'm telling you, he's like, he's just, he's just in shit. What's doing uh, in boxing with the hair? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know the fuck I'm talking about. I don't, Don King. Man, that's Paul Heyman. I'm telling you right now. Anthony Pettis, Gray Maynard. It's heating up. Maynard said that Pettis has beat all scrubs um, from the WEC and that he, he isn't even a contender. He ain't shit. Pettis uh, took the high road. Uh, you know, he basically said that all the WEC guys are winning <clears throat> in the UFC. You have no choice but to recognize it, though. You know, Donald Cerrone's winning. Ben Henderson's winning. Uh, Pettis is going to make his debut. Unfortunately, I think Clay Guida, for him, I think Clay Guida's going to beat him. But that's just me. <clears throat> I will say that 
Gray Maynard, you know, he's right. He says Pettis is only known because of his kick. That kick. And I believe it. Who was talking about Anthony Pettis before that kick? Not a lot of people, man. I think Clay Guida's going to get the win. Clay Guida deserves this win. I truly believe that he's going to get it done. Pettis is too confident considering the fact he's – hey, he has a very, very tough Clay Guida in front of him, man. He's just too cocky right now. He thinks he's the champ of the world. I guess he is in the WEC, but that place doesn't exist anymore. Anthony Johnson, my war with Anthony Johnson on Twitter. I want to publicly apologize. Um, it wasn't, you know, we're having him on a radio show. Uh, I'm not a Rumble Johnson hater. I was wrong for my actions. I should have understood. You know, I, I've flown all across the country, the world, man, and I made a mistake. I know that sometimes that shit takes longer than it should. Uh, I apologize. Um, just want to let you know that. So if you're watching, I apologize. Rumble Johnson, man. My bad. See you on the show. Uh, Zufa Zombies, my next topic. What is what? What is up with all you motherfuckers saying Zufa Zombies, man? Just because we don't hate Dana White, that's, that, that doesn't mean we're Zufa, Zufa Zombies. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I watch shit outside the uh, Zufa. I don't, why am I Zufa Zombies? I happen to, to 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 like Dana White. I think he's a funny motherfucker. I happen to like the UFC. I think it's the Super Bowl of MMA. I think it's the NFL. And if you don't, you're a fucking idiot. So, because I watch NFL, am I, am I an NFL zombie? Because I, I'd rather watch that than, uh, you know, the Canada's Football League or whatever. Get the fuck out of here, man. This Zufa zombie shit. You guys are fucking killing me. You're making me I just, what the fuck are you doing it for? Okay, man. Dana White's cool. The UFC's cool. <laughs> you watch it, don't you? So shut the fuck up. Bottom line. MMA Affiliates Radio this Sunday, 9, 9 to 11. New time. <clears throat> Got some big shit going on, man. Big shit coming. I know other people are trying to jock this. You'll never jock it. So just to let you know, Topics Radio, Madhouse Radio, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to eat off my name. The only radio show that matters is MMA Affiliates Radio. The mother cats, they just want to be like this. Remember that. I'm out. Well. Thank you.